Hey guys, what's going on? Coming at you with a Tuesday morning video, 8 a.m. I post daily. If you guys like these videos, make sure you like, subscribe, comment below. It takes one second. Really trying to get to 400 subs by the end of the month. I think we can do it. I'm almost there. So if you just hit that subscribe button, even if it's one person, much appreciated. It means a lot to me. So <clears throat> let me get into it. So I made a video yesterday about stocks to watch this week. Uh, obviously, Tattoo Chef was one of them, ticker TTCF. This is uh, my second biggest position. And I did say if it goes under $17 or $17.25, it'd be something I'd be really interested in to purchase this week if it did so. The market today, just in general, was really red. Most growth stocks were down anywhere from five to you know, 15, 20%. Tattoo Chef was, I think, the biggest hit stock that I currently own, maybe the MJ stocks, I own three MJ stocks, they were all hit super heavy this week. Um, before I get into this video, let me just check and see how badly they were hit today. So uh, True Leaf was hit, that wasn't that bad actually, it was only 4%. Uh, let's see what Planet was, Planet was 2.6, okay, so I lied, they weren't hit that bad. Uh, but Shopify was hit 5%. Uh, Tattoo Chef, Tattoo Chef was hit 9% today from open to close. That's crazy. That's a massive move down, so I definitely had to take advantage of that. That was my biggest downward uh, one of, of any position I own. So it had a 9% downward move today. So what mindset do you want? So really, a lot of people in the market for the past year have been used to just making money, making money, making money. They put in, makes money. Well, now you see the market starting to correct. Uh, I've made videos, gosh, for the past probably seven, eight weeks at this point saying, I know a correction's coming. It's going to happen in the next two or three months. We had a mini one two, three weeks ago, and then now I feel like another one's coming. It's healthy for the market. Just be prepared for it. So that's really the mindset you need to have. Just, just be prepared to have a downwards trend. It's not bad. It's just buying opportunity. So for people that are newer in the market, this is normal. It's healthy. Uh, you know, if you understand... You know, you don't always make money doing stocks. I think a lot of people are getting out of stocks because they're hitting that long-term gain mark or maybe they're like, okay, I've made so much money in the market, I'm done. I, I just want to take all my money out. So there's a lot of things that, that people are doing. Like retail investors are getting a little nervous or scared now because they're just not making money as they're putting money in. But really, you got to just stay mentally tough. You got to have a game plan. If you invest in good companies, there's nothing really to worry about. That's the black and white honest truth. So I think the, one of the reasons why Tattoo Chef took a big hit today is the CFO left. I don't even know who that is. Uh, he really wasn't a big part of the company. You don't even know why he left. Maybe he was butting heads. Maybe he didn't want to go public. Maybe he doesn't like how fast the company is growing and he can't handle it. Or maybe the CEO is like, hey, you're not doing your work. Or maybe he's working from home and not really working. You don't know why he left, but uh, I believe he resigned. He didn't get fired. So, but again, resigning could just mean you just don't want to get fired. So, um, a lot that scared a lot of people. I'm not even sure why. I don't even know who it was. He's not very important in the company, obviously, and they could probably find a replacement better than him. Let's be real. So that doesn't scare me at all. I don't know why a lot of retail investors and people got scared of that. This right now, it's at sixteen dollars and eighty. No, it's not at $16.82. I think it rallied up at the end. Let me just check. I think it's at $17 now. Uh, it ended at $17.01. That's where it is right now, at least on my phone. So it is almost at six months lows. So I, I mean, we're like really close to six months lows. So that's crazy because this stock's been going up, 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 a little correction and back up. I started actually buying the stock at $24 a share. So it's just, it just shows you... Uh, you know, how low it is right now. What are my plans? My plans are to keep buying. If this stock goes back to like 1650, 1625, or even dare I say $15 or something, I will buy heavy and I will buy heavier. You, you know, the past couple of videos when I bought Tattoo Chef, it was anywhere from eight to 10%. Well, I bought today at $16.82 and I put 15% of my portfolio. So that's a pretty big amount. Like I'm, you know, I'm buying pretty heavy right now. Don't plan on stopping. If it goes sub $16.50 or $15, I'll probably put 20% in uh, for, for my total position. So I'm really buying heavy right now. That drove my cost base or my cash down to 25%. Last week I was sitting at 30, 
So I deployed 5% of my cash from Friday and today. So it's a good amount. Uh, you know, I just want to make sure I, you know, have a really good opportunity. I'm almost at, you know, as far as building out this position, I, I want to say I'm at like 90%. So I've been buying this stock since maybe November or December. I actually counted over the weekend, not including today, how many times I've bought. So I bought one more time. I've bought in this stock 18 times, 18 different times, just driving down, driving down, driving down, building, building, building. So really how I like doing it personally is I like buying anywhere from five to eight times, but this stock has just been going down, 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 down. You know, I've been the target. I've been to my local Walmart. The sell through is insane. Nothing's on the shelves. Uh, you know, I'm really not worried about it. I mean, I mean, I just feel like people are really sleeping on this when earnings comes out this, you know, next quarter, it, it, you know, it's really going to game. They're going to beat revenue. I mean, Wall Street has it. Analysts have it at 50%. I think it's going to be closer to 75, 80%. I think they're going to smash earnings. So that's going to really change people's minds. And then once it starts running, it's not going to come back down. That's my honest opinion. So yeah, so I mean, this is a good stock. If you're not in it, now is a great time to buy. You're getting a killer deal. I believe my cost base is high 19s right now, like 1980 maybe. So, you know, if you're getting in at 16 or 17, anything, I mean, you're getting a killer deal. I would definitely do your own research, obviously look into it, but this is my favorite stock to buy right now. I'm very bullish on the stock. I've had their products. I do, you know, store checks on how much is available. It's, I mean, it's, it's all great. I mean, the, the products are great. The sell through is great. Uh, you know, it's, it's, it's a futuristic kind of food industry. So it, it's healthy alternative. It's frozen. It's just good. I mean, I, I, I don't know what else to say other than that. I mean, it's something I'm really, you know, my mind is not changing. If this thing goes to 50, I, I couldn't see it going below $15. I'd be honest, no matter what the market does. That's just my opinion. Honestly, tomorrow, today, like when the market opens, I could see it rallying back 5%, maybe back 90%. I mean, I can see it rallying back to high 17s today. So we'll see. But if it goes the other way, I'll gladly buy more. So yeah, that's all I got. Trying to get 400 subs by the end of the month. Make sure you like, subscribe. Let me know your thoughts on the company below. Um, I'd be really interested to hear what you guys are doing. Did anyone sell, like totally sell out of their stock or why did they sell if they did? Because I'm really curious to hear people or why you bought it today. I mean, obviously I did. So um, yeah, that's all I got. Peace.